They're born for the underworld of dirt and darkness, digging and tunnelling in search of prey. But when they race back out into the world of light and bright open spaces, what do they see? Or perhaps more importantly, what don't they see? All creatures, great and small, have their own unique way of viewing the world. So join me on a fascinating journey as we discover the secrets of ferret vision and experience the world of humans through the eyes of a ferret. Ferrets were domesticated over two and a half thousand years ago, descended from European polecats to be kept as working animals. Their job was to keep farmland free from destructive pests and bring meat and soft pelts home with the trappers. These small, agile creatures have adapted remarkably well to life both below and above ground, but their vision is uniquely tailored to their underground lifestyle. A ferret's eyes are positioned on either side of its head, this gives them a wide field of view of around 270 degrees, compared with the 180 degrees of humans. This extra peripheral vision is very useful for spotting both predators and prey, but it also means they have a blind spot right in front of their noses. Pro tip, this anatomical feature can be exploited brilliantly to deliver stealth nose boops. Ferrets have two outer eyelids that meet in the middle, but they don't blink as often as humans do, with a blink frequency of two to five per minute. When they do blink, it's an essential part of their eye care routine, keeping eyes moist, healthy, and free from dust and dirt. Ferrets also have a third eyelid, like many mammals, birds, and reptiles. This translucent membrane found in the inner corner of the eyes can partially or fully cover the eye, offering an extra layer of protection. It acts as a natural defense mechanism, keeping their eyes moist and shielding them from debris and potential injuries in the tunnels. Ferrets are naturally most active during dawn and dusk, a behavior known as crepuscular, Operating in this twilight zone between day and night, their eyes are optimized for low light conditions with a high number of rod cells to enhance night vision. Whether it's a mouse sneaking out of cover under the sinking sun or a rabbit racing through a dark tunnel underground, a ferret's wide field of view and low light sensitivity give them a much clearer picture of the hunting ground. The ferret's excellent night vision does come at a cost though, as they have fewer cone cells in their eyes which are responsible for colour vision. Unlike humans who have three types of cones for detecting red, green and blue wavelengths, ferrets only have two types, short wavelength sensitive and long wavelength sensitive cones. This means ferrets see the world in a more muted palette compared to humans with limited ability to distinguish between certain colors. It's called dichromatic vision, and expert opinion seems to be split about what colors a ferret sees best. In researching extensively for this post, I've read studies and scholarly articles that say ferrets primarily see in shades of blue and green, with an inability to discern reds and oranges. In other papers, they state with confidence that a ferret can see blue and red but not green. I've also read that different ferrets can have a completely different makeup of cones in their eyes, so I suppose it's possible for both facts to be true. The one consistent opinion is that blues will be seen most vividly, with brighter shades more easily picked out than pale ones. So when buying toys for your ferrets, you might lean towards bright blues for more stimulation, and bedding could be chosen in muted and pale colors for a more relaxing environment.
While ferrets may not see colors as vividly as we do, they excel in motion detection. With visual senses tuned to react to the slightest movement, it makes them deadly hunters. It's hard to depict this in visual terms as it's more of an innate awareness processed beyond the brain's visual cortex. But humans might imagine it as having targets highlighted, like a hitbox cheat hack in a video game, so that moving objects pop out from a muted and low-light background. With so much of their life being played out in close quarters, a ferret's depth perception is not as sharp as humans. This is partly due to the positioning of the eyes, which provide a panoramic view but without much binocular overlap, which is required for 3D vision and pinpoint depth accuracy. For comparison, a ferret's binocular vision covers around 40 degrees of its visual field, whereas humans benefit from a broad 120 degree binocularity. I feel this lack of depth perception is one of the main reasons my ferrets often fall hopelessly short when making a leap for the forbidden computer desk. Because of this shortfall in depth perception, ferrets tend to rely more heavily on hearing and smell as their primary senses for judging distance. Although ferrets do have a wide 270 degree field of vision, the area in sharp focus is limited to about 10 degrees across the midline. The rest is peripheral vision that is still highly tuned to motion detection, allowing them to react incredibly quickly to turn their head towards the action. Their optimum focal distance seems to be around 3 to 4 feet, but they can see relatively clearly up to around 25 feet. That's the equivalent of four Hugh Jackmans lying head to foot. Because of their tunnelling lifestyle, you might think ferrets would have fantastic vision close up, but in fact it's pretty poor, with limited ability to focus on anything closer than a couple of inches. It's why you always see ferrets explore their surroundings nose first, as smell and touch are their primary senses at close quarters. And so to the fundamental question. Do ferrets see the world like we do? Humans rely heavily on colour vision and sharp depth perception, which, as a completely random example, makes it easy for us to find and click the like and subscribe buttons. These traits are less critical for ferrets, who very rarely interact with YouTube content. Instead, their vision is optimised for detecting movement and navigating in low light. This makes them excellent hunters in their natural habitats but gives them a different visual experience in the world of humans. In bright light, they see fewer colours over a broader landscape than we do, but with a blind spot right in the middle. They will be more comfortable visually in soft, muted lighting. If something isn't moving, a ferret might not see it, especially if it's close up. But as soon as it moves, it will be perceived in sharp focus, allowing the ferret to race in for the kill. So, now you know what the world looks like through the eyes of your slinky dinkies. Will it change the way you play with them? Don't forget to drop a like and comment to help boost this post if you enjoyed it. And if you want to know more about these fascinating creatures, check out this post where we asked, do ferrets hear music like we do? See you next time, Floof Crew.